here's everything you need to know for a weekend getaway to Dresden. I'm a Welcome to a new vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I'm a solo female traveler from Germany and in today's vlog I'll be showing you around Dresden. This is my first solo trip actually in Germany. I've traveled all around the world solo but never within Germany so I'm really excited to go. Um, it's only a weekend getaway but I'm excited to finally explore more of Eastern Germany because I, have believe it or not, never been to Eastern Germany except like Berlin and Potsdam, like the basic ones, but never to Saxony or the other um, ex-Eastern Germany states. So I'm very excited to go to Dresden because it's supposed to be super beautiful. But first I had to work, um, it's Friday now and um, yeah, I'm not off work. I have to run because I have to get my train because there's currently a train strike um, and trains are not going regularly. So I have to catch that. And then because we're doing a little low budget trip, we're going with Flixbus to Dresden, which is about normally um, a four and a half hour drive. Maybe it's gonna be a bit longer than that because it's friday and you know traffic but we will get there hopefully <laughs> and um yeah then i'll see you guys in dresden i wanna be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers i don't wanna meet your mother i made it to dresden <laughs> And to be honest, it feels like actually just like travel day. It feels like I've traveled to another country, whereas I've just traveled to another state, um, which is also a neighboring state of Bavaria. So it feels crazy, but um, yeah, the bus had a huge delay, and oh, it's just it's just so exhausting um, to be driving. Like I don't know, I feel like it was five hours or something like that. I'm too exhausted to, to calculate it even or think about um, yeah, it, but yeah, I'm in my hotel, I'm gonna show it to you and um, do a little room tour and then I'm gonna go to bed because I desperately need sleep and tomorrow I'm gonna um, have an early start to go shooting at sunrise and I'm so excited. So when you come in, you are greeted with this view. Um, I'm staying at a low budget hotel, so obviously it's nothing really special. But um, yeah, here's a shower, bathroom, and then here's the bed. To be honest, the bed, I already tested it. It's not that good, not that comfortable, but it's okay. It's only for tonight. And then um, I have this view of a tram station, but I'm literally right in the city. Um, I think it's like at the main shopping street. There's a lot of food um, stuff around here. So I think I'm gonna be happy here. Location-wise, there's also like a Ferris wheel somewhere there. Um, I don't know for what, but um, yeah. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. registered yesterday for breakfast already for the uh, next two days or like today and tomorrow which is weird but okay I think maybe it's due to corona um, but yeah anyways so I'm up early at 6 30 around that time the sunrise is happening or well, like the better sunrise right now sunrise is happening but not that great uh, for shooting and yeah 
then um, I'm gonna have breakfast at 6.30 and hop on out. Um, I don't wanna spend that much time on breakfast just because I need to get some shootings done. Um, I have a lot of places to see and to go shoot at and I don't wanna like um, do it later. Like I think at around 9 a.m. it's gonna be very harsh um, sunlight and also like bit crowded maybe so um yeah i'm gonna try to get like the best or like the most done um this morning and then maybe if i need to go to another place um tomorrow i'm gonna do that tomorrow morning before i will check out and go on my bus at 11 40 a.m something like that and yeah then um yeah the plan for the afternoon or like the rest of the day is to just walk around um, and enjoy the day here in Dresden and I'm so excited. Good morning guys, I'm currently filming with my phone because my camera is in my backpack. But I'm walking around, I just had breakfast, to be honest breakfast wasn't that great. But uh, yeah. So far so good. I'm trying to find the entrance to the Zwinger, which is also a famous city, uh, but I can't find it. So I have to see where I'm getting right. <laughs> um, this is where I have to go. And there's apparently uh, a construction site. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that sucks. Okay, maybe I can uh, shoot some photos here make it work I don't know oh man I always wanted to have a photo on this but I think there's no way I can uh, go to that shit the one time I'm in Dresden thank you very much oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar just got done shooting here and I'm gonna go to the next spot um, I'm a bit sad that um, the main part of this attraction is closed um, but you gotta make the best of it and maybe I'll come back to Dresden one day and I can uh, shoot there again or explore it but um, yeah off to the next spot I don't care at all baby you got my attention so you were say but I found a little spot that might work so I can still shoot at the main attraction we have to see um, but yeah, honestly I love that it's so serene and quiet around this time in the morning we have like 7 a.m. or something like that there's no one around and it's so great for shooting and I love exploring cities that way um, because it's a, it's a whole new feeling a whole new level of exploring so I can highly recommend everyone to go and explore a city whether you want to go shoot or whatever um, at sunrise or like early morning because it's the best, the best feeling ever. spot that I want to shoot at so much uh, I can't even explain how exciting I am to be shooting here because um, this photo is inspired by someone I follow on Instagram her name is on tour with Bambi and she's from Dresden or like um, the area here and she had like one of the photos here and um, I'm so in love with the photo and I wanted to do it my own way and uh, yeah I think it turned out great we have to see uh, when we have to edit it but um, yeah, I don't care at all, baby. You got my attention. So you were saying, I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. No, oh, baby, you are currently walking to my next spot, which is called Yenitsa, which is um old cigar factory I think if I'm correct um, but yeah I'm walking through this park here 
and uh, yeah at the last spot there were a lot of people um, which was Frankreich and um, yeah it's super famous and I had like the perfect spot <laughs> but there were so many people um, I shot there but I didn't walk there because it was just awkward anyways <laughs> even though honestly I don't care anymore about this stuff um, but yeah um, the cigar factory is about 20 minutes walk from like the main city center so I'm currently walking towards it and already can see it and uh, yeah I'll see you guys Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground Something weird just happened so <laughs> Okay, I have to cross um, the street right now But anyways, so I was just um, like standing at this uh, yeah, light here uh, Street light and there's a guy coming towards me. Um, he was in a wheelchair, which obviously um, I don't mind. And then he was like asking me, I have a question, like in his accent. Um, because like here in Saxon, people have like a really, <laughs> yeah, strong accent. And um, yeah, he was like asking me, I have a question. Um, I'm looking for um, a cleaner. And I was like, sorry, I'm not from here. And minding my own business, going away. And then he just came um, to go to me again and said like, are you from the old uh, Bundesländer, which is like uh, federal states? And I was like, no. And he was like, okay, bye. <laughs> what the heck? Weirdest interaction I've ever had in my life. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Okay, so I had to improvise because apparently the place where I wanted to go, I wanted to shoot at, which is this place right here, um, was not open or like, I think it was um, a park deck, whatever. Um, so I uh, wasn't able to go there where I wanted to go, but I improvised and did it at the tram station, which is so weird. Um, there were like weird people here, but I don't care. <laughs> So now I'm going back to um, the city center and see what I'm gonna do. I'm really hungry and places won't open until 11 or 11.30. So maybe I'll go back to the hotel room, eat some snacks and then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. I don't know. So after my little morning excursions, I chilled a bit in the hotel room and waited for lunch. I went to Lua Piano for lunch as the one in my hometown is actually close and I was desperately craving some Vapiano again and um, yeah afterwards I went on a spontaneous hop on hop off tour um, it was really interesting to be honest there's so much to see in Dresden and honestly if you have the time not like me I would definitely recommend planning more than one day for Dresden as there is a rich history rich culture there and all the different areas tell different stories and yeah it was really interesting to see at least in a sightseeing tour and uh, yeah loved it hi you guys so i'm back in my hotel room it's now i think around 2 30 or something pm um so i uh yeah did a little hop on hop off tour um which you guys saw and honestly it was so freezing i was sitting at, at um on the top deck and i was like Usually I don't do these kind of tours um, anymore or like it's not my style when I travel, especially when I travel solo. But honestly, I was in the mood for that. I was just wanting to see a bit more of Dresden, which I can do all today um, with like walking or like with public transport. So it was a nice tour um, to get to see a bit more of Dresden and maybe for a future trip that I'm going to do here. But um, yeah, it was really lovely. It costs me on Get Your Guide 20 euros and um, the start and end point uh, was directly close to my hotel, which is um, at Postplatz. Good morning, guys. So um, today is the day I'm leaving Dresden. Before that, my actual plan was 
to go on a little sunrise shoot but as you just saw in the time lapse I did um there's no sun guy oh my gosh my luck is like like this um yeah i don't know like what i should do because i wanted to do a little sunrise shoot at some places i didn't shoot at which is like semper opa Münzgasse. i wanted to try another shot at um what is it called fürsten something with fürsten i don't know um <laughs> however i mean i like moody photography but not like this when you can't see anything um so i don't know what to do um my plan is to wait a bit and just see if it clears up but i also have like a bit of a time limit because i need to have breakfast at 9 30 that's what i booked yesterday and then at around 10 10 15 i have to go to the railway station or to central station and um yeah so i'm on time when my bus goes at 11 40 try to get something to eat before that and yeah so i don't know what i should do uh i really hope it clears up i mean i can go until like eight max but there's also like the sun and more people out and I wanted to have things for myself so we have to see how it goes we're gonna have to act spontaneously but I just want to say good morning guys um let's see if I actually can make a shoot or if it's just like a day of me traveling home we will see. also guys I wanted to give you guys a little feedback I'm staying at an Ibis budget hotel here in Dresden um in the city and I gotta say, the best thing about this hotel is definitely location-wise. You are walking distance from all the main attractions. There's a tram right outside the, my hotel. And it's really, really convenient. Um, there's also a mall next to it, which has like all the supermarkets and everything. Um, so yeah, I really like it here location-wise. However, I gotta say, the bed is like really, really uncomfortable um but i mean like it's also the cheapest hotel here um and yeah the breakfast honestly i had better breakfast at ibis hotels um but i gotta say i mean it was really cheap i paid 156 euros um for two nights for a single room or like a twin room single use um to be honest there were other ones other hotels that might be a bit more <laughs> luxurious or like three star category luxurious um and they were around 300 euros for two nights which i think is a bit too much um and yeah the bed was a wasn't the best but um other than that it's fine for the price range i guess for dresden even though i still think it's like super expensive okay, so the weather really hasn't changed <laughs> except that it's no um light outside but honestly, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just want to try at least to get photos done. So I'm going to go outside now. Wish me luck. So I'm currently filming on my phone. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking this wasn't a great idea. It's like so foggy and I feel like um, some drizzling rain about to start. It, it's so creepy right now because there's all of this fog and then there's um, the church bells. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a horror movie or something. The zombies are coming out any minute.
shooting now. I don't know if the photos turned out that great, but I tried my best. I um, also uh, filmed some video footage for Instagram for Reels. And uh, yeah, I guess that's a wrap on Dresden. Now we have to go home. Okay guys, so I just got done with breakfast and I'm about to leave the hotel room and get a taxi to the central station. And uh, yeah, it's time to say goodbye to Jason. Um, honestly, it was such a great trip and I really enjoyed it. Um, being in a German city solo, that was so much fun. I think I'm gonna do more of these solo trips in Germany. Um, and I can highly recommend doing it yourself in your own country. Going to another city solo is like so much fun. Um, especially around the world, but also in your own country. And uh, yeah, bye Tristan. Back home was again super exhausting and we had another delay. However, it was okay because I had a great weekend in Dresden and can highly recommend this beautiful German town to you. So now we reached the end of this little vlog. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for another solo trip coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!